Hello and welcome to my plant-based mom channel. Um, I'm here with a plant-based friend of mine, Vince Leah, and he has been doing the whole YouTube plant-based world for a minute. So can you tell us about that real quick? Yeah, no problem. So I have a YouTube channel, it's just under my name, Vince Leah. And you know, the whole journey to becoming plant-based was really interesting for me. It, it started after being diagnosed with the medical condition. So I have an autoimmune condition called ulcerative colitis, which to kind of break it down and make it easy, it's just an inflammation of the colon, very much like Crohn's, uh, Crohn's disease, which you hear a lot of. And one of the issues when you talk to your doctor is that they say, we don't know how you got this. There's not really a cure for it. And we're just gonna try a bunch of things to see what works. And I was like, great, I love being a guinea pig. Um, so I tried a bunch of different medications, went through like three doctors, and one of my doctors even told me like, I'm just gonna have to live with this forever. Like certain, can, certain side effects are not gonna stop. And I started doing some research on just different diets that I could do. And I started originally doing something called the specific carb diet, which is still focused, it had meat products and some dairy products, but it got rid of a lot of processed food, which was good. And I did see some improvement, but I still had a lot of the side effects. So it's specific carbs, like whole grain carbs? Yeah, it was okay. basically uh, no bread, no yeah. rice. Um, the only carbs the you really had was from fruit oh, okay. and vegetables and okay. stuff like that. And so, but I didn't really feel like, it may have like brought me from here to here, but I was still trying to get better. Yeah. And I was still having a lot of symptoms and I felt like there was something more I could be doing. Mm -hmm. And I went to an event where I was talking to somebody. He's like, are you start taking like green juices and look at like plant-based food? And I was like, you know, after all the crap I've been doing, that actually sounds pretty normal. Yeah. You know, cause you try some wild things to try to get to rid, rid of this condition. And, and it's interesting because like I hadn't had any sort of greens for years because you're told don't have anything that's roughage, have anything that's Fiber. easy. Fiber is like your enemy. Oh my god! Is what you're basically told about. Yeah. And so it was like bread, meat, and rice. Like that was my staple. Bread, meat, and rice. Huh. And so I remember saying, okay, let me try this green. Let me try Greens, some green. Yes. And I remember getting a green juice and I, I had one and I stayed at home the whole day because I thought I was going to have these major side effects from just having a green juice. Uh -huh. And I didn't. And so I started having a green juice every morning. Like, that was my routine. I, get, I, I woke up before I went to work, instead of getting a coffee, I went to the juice bar, picked up my green juice. And interesting thing too, once you start having healthier foods, your taste buds change. Yes. So if you've never had a green juice before, please don't go out and get one with kale, spinach, and ginger because you're never going to have another one. Like you need to have something with maybe a little fruit in there. Like yeah. have it some apple. apple or an orange. And then you'll notice over time you can actually remove yeah. some of the fruits yeah. from the green juice and concentrate more on the greens. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> so I started having a green juice every day. I noticed that I was feeling a lot better. So then I was like, oh, I wonder if I could have a salad. You know, but having a salad was like, are you kidding me? Like, wow. and then I started having a salad. I st salad started feeling better. So I was like, okay, and I'd already given up most processed foods anyway. Mm -hmm. So then it was just a matter of, okay, I didn't didn't meet, meet anymore. Then chicken went out the door, and I held on to fish. Yeah. I held on to fish because I was like, I need my protein. I yeah. need fish. I can't give that up. I'll just stick protein. with this. And I did that for a few months, and then the more you educate yourself, the more research you do, you realize that all the proteins that are actually available in plants and how much protein you actually need rather than you know you don't need 100 grams of protein every day like yeah. some people think and so you start reshifting your focus and then i just slowly gave up fish mm -hmm. and then i was i was just completely plant based and then it was just i felt so well i mm -hmm. felt better i had more energy and then my condition started going away wow. my my symptoms started going away now i'm not saying that i never have any anymore yeah. but the fact that it minimized so much and then I felt so much healthier, mm -hmm. you know? And people were even telling me like how much better I looked in my face, I had more life in me compared to what, what I was eating before and how I felt. And that was just, it was, it was very powerful to hear those words. So then I'm like, I wanna share this with people. Yeah. So I, that's when I started a YouTube channel and just started sharing recipes that I had and, and taking people, one of my biggest things, I love taking people out to try vegan food. Because people think vegan food, you know, a, a, people, when they think of somebody who's vegan, 
they see a hippie drinking, drinking green juice, yep, eating that's, hard. That's what I used to think. I mean, that was me a year ago. That, that's the that stereotype. Really was me. So I love taking people out to try it for the first time. So I have a lot of that on my channel, um, and then showing people that just healthy food can actually taste good because I think there's a stereotype where people think that in order for food to taste good, it's got to be bad for you. Yeah. You can have all this delicious food and actually still live a really healthy life and fit life. Yeah. And that's when I decided to just create this thing called Fit From Food because people don't understand the relationship that food plays in fitness. Because mm -hmm. people think you need to go to the gym and, and do all that. And it's important to be active and do all that stuff. But if you're not looking at the diet and if you're not focusing on the food you're putting into your body, all that other stuff is minimized substantially yeah. if you're not looking at the fuel you're giving your body itself about yeah enabling your body to heal itself <laughs> and it's crazy that like any diet that says greens are not good for you I just it's such a backwards way to think <laughs> that I, I can't even understand how that's a, a concept that makes sense to people yeah. and yours is an autoimmune disease which my husband as well type 1 diabetic uh, kind of not really because he's reversed all his <laughs> symptoms but um, is also an autoimmune disease so it's, it's just crazy how people with those types of conditions are told by their doctors to eat the wrong things. Mm -hmm. And it takes finding the information. I was lucky enough to be on a TV show with this really smart producer who gave me all the information I needed, which helped, you know, my husband heal. And you, how did you discover it? You just kind of just uh, you trial just and error. The, you just stumble upon it. You know, I was fortunate to meet with somebody that had experienced good things with it. Yeah. And I decided to give it a shot. Yeah. Mm. So it's just kind of, we're here trying to share stories of people and their journey back to health. And this is very inspiring. Anybody who has a similar type of symptom, we'd love to hear your stories in the comments. Um, it's just, it. I love hearing these types of, of stories where people can just take back their health. Like, mm -hmm. Before going plant-based, I always thought we were at the mercy of our doctors, at the mercy of our genetics. Like, if we get this disease, we're screwed if the doctors can't cure us. And now I'm learning, wow, it really, we do have a choice. And it's a matter of, do you value your health in life over, you know, a, a piece of bacon? And once you find like good information and good people to follow, you could actually get a lot of good information yep. online about what you need to do and the benefits of doing yeah. it. You know, and, and making that decision to live healthy, it's an easy decision, but you have to commit to it. Yeah, it's, yeah. And you once know? you commit, once that's you commit, it. it's game easy. over. Yeah, game over. Game over. Touchdown. <laughs> Done. <All right. laughs> so, well, thank you for sharing your story. Uh, if those of you that want to find out more or want some cool recipes or just some more veggie talk <laughs> check out vince's channel and uh or feel free to leave comments here and we'll get back to you definitely so that's it i don't really have an outro for my plant-based channel so i'm just gonna say bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs>